Yeah, I thought we came out ready to go tonight, and I was worried about it. I know it's a tough, uh, you know, we played two really tough matches, um, short break, and then and then back at it, and bodies are tired, and I thought we really set a tone with our serving um, and got them out of system. And, you know, you and I is really good in system, and we saw that against USC, so, you know, and we even saw that in game three some. When they were getting good balls, their middles uh, had a lot of success against us. So serving was really, I think, the difference in the match. Um, but overall, I feel really good about the weekend. I think we played better this weekend than we did last weekend, um, which obviously is the goal that we continue to progress as a team. Um, and I will say, like, it's, it's a little bittersweet. This tournament has been, you know, we've done this for nine years, uh, you know, because of the COVID year. And, uh, man, it's been a blast. Our players look forward to it. It is a grind. I think the other big thing of note is I told the players in the locker room that I, I hope this is the last time Division One Volleyball for the Creighton team will ever play two matches in a day because the rules are changing next year that will go to number of matches per season as compared to number of dates. And I think that is so huge for student athlete welfare. Um, I always get nervous at this tournament that, that people are gonna get injured. So um, what a fun experience with Kentucky, UNI and USC. And um, it was a lot of fun. It was great to get to host the last time that we were doing this. Um, that was kind of our goal all weekend, was to be aggressive with our serving. I think we just maintained it a little bit better in the UNI game. Um, our goal was to come in and attack this game, whereas obviously that was our goal for Kentucky too, but having to bounce back after that game, I think that was a big for us. I think it also comes back to our serving. Um, our, we all did a great job, like serving tough balls, which gets them out of system. Um, which then we can get better reads and get forehands in front of their hitters. Uh, what was it like to have a game where you were kind of in control from top to tail? Uh, that part's always fun. <laughs> it's always nice to be in control, but um, I think that also adds some pressure too to maintain. You know, when teams start to creep back in, it's important that you continue to stay focused and keep on it. Yeah, um, I think all weekend it was kind of like a process. Kendra and I just getting connections again. Um, beginning of the season, like we've been working through that a little bit. Um, and I think we just got comfortable. We had some really great passes, which helps. Um, and I was able to put some balls away. You get a good night's sleep tonight. Um, I hope that they rest tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll di start diving into film. I haven't watched Nebraska at all yet this year. Um, I read that they were running a 6-2, so I don't even know if they did that today. So we'll, s we'll see what, what we'll do. And, you know, we talked about that, um, you know, Wednesday night is an opportunity to build our resume. And, you know, we talk about resume builders and resume killers. You've heard me use those terms. So um, it's a resume builder opportunity. Um, and, you know, obviously we have great respect for the Nebraska program and, it, you know, it's a cool experience to be a part of it, but, you know, we want to we wanna play great when we're out there. Individually or as a team? Yeah, probably as a team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that, you know, as you progress through the season, and you go from the first tournament to the next, you're kind of working through jitters and just even the start of trying to figure each other out on the court. Um, so I think just coming in every practice and trying to get better individually, but also working together as a team, it just kind of flows as you continue to practice through everything. Yeah, I would agree with um, Allison. I think the first weekend we were just figuring each other out on the court. And so I think this weekend we went out a lot more confident. Meaning that we've got hitters all over the place? Yeah. Is that what okay. you mean? Yeah, sorry. 
Yeah, no, I think that is a great strength of this team. And, um, you know, I, I, these guys know a lot of times in timeouts, it's let's run this pattern, you know, go wherever. They're all great options. So that's a really fortunate thing. And I think that makes us hard to defend because it's not just one kid's show. You know, it's not like they can go to a timeout and say the ball's for sure going to this kid. You know, we're going to be able to mix it around. And if they want to, you know, Northern Iowa in the first game really fully committed to Nora. Um, and she still had great success, but you know, then we we went to Kiana, you know, so we feel comfortable that we can spread that ball around. Um, with those uh, few weeks now playing the team, I suspect that this team is equipped um, across the entire group to score some way on four seconds. And you were just saying earlier that you know, can you kind of take us inside that a little bit of what your impact on the team structure is in the team fashion? Yeah, I mean, I think it's Keely's personality. Like, if it's quiet, she'll talk. Um, so I think <laughs> she kind of stepped up and, like, fills a lot of, like, our huddles and is a really good encourager um, and always brings us back to playing for each other and take a deep breath, and we got it. So I would agree. has been going no I think we haven't talked about that I think I think we loved it but I think we're all ready to um, I am interested in trying to get in another tournament similar to that I, uh, I've been trying to chew on teams that I'd maybe be interested in reaching out to because um, I really loved this opportunity um, but I think we all think it's time but I, it was it was awesome Yeah, I think usually you either have a partnership with one team yeah. and a fly running around, <laughs> or you go um, uh, a four-year deal, which is what we initially signed. We signed a four-year deal, but I think at the you know when we re-upped it, we just thought it was such a great tournament and different teams had won it, um, and so we re-upped it again. I mean, interestingly, Kentucky won it for the first time today, um, so they were pretty excited that they had finally won it, but. Northern Iowa has never won it, but all three of the rest, uh, you know, three of the four teams have won it over the years, which I think is pretty cool, too. Uh, are you all excited to play in CSI? Oh, yeah, of course. The big crowd is always fun to be <laughs> around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super excited. I think our crowd in Sokol has been great the last couple days, so I'm excited to see what even more fans can do. Thank you, guys.